Okay, so this time we're going to split the surface. So we're going to modify it. We're going to cut the surface into two. You can only split the surface into two. And uh, place or make the road lower by 150 mm. So let's do that. We're going to say massing and site. Okay, go to massing and site, split surface. So we're going to split this surface and we're going to use the lines provided by our CAD file. We imported that. So pick lines and we are in the site, uh, site plan view and we're going to just simply select or pick the lines. So we're going to pick this line and then go around, okay? So pick those lines. Again, go around so that you know exactly what lines you have already selected. So it becomes a little easier and not confusing. Let's go around. Okay, and then go here. And then here, uh, just select one. Okay, and then we're going to trim to the extent. So we don't have to select all of those lines. So go around. Remember, you can only split the site into two. Okay, so again, we're going around. There you go. Now, should we select this? line here, no, we're just going to, to split this entire site into two. So what we're going to do is we're going to oops, extend this, right, beyond, extend that beyond our property line. And in the same token, extend this, okay. Oops, I think, yeah, that's what I was thinking. If we click that, we've selected it. Okay, we're just going to say uh, modify. And uh, yeah, let me delete that. I think, let me see, I delete this. And there's that line. I think I should have, okay. I mean that delete that. I think this is good. This one, I should have clicked the modify tool because I was in the pick line option of our drawing tools. That's why it created an overlap or overlapping line. So let me just extend this. Okay. So what we have just done is select, we selected the line here which defines the separation between this topo surface, okay, and this topo surface inside. Okay, so that's our first step. Click okay. Now it says splitting boundary must divide the surface into separate pieces. There are many, there may be gaps, so, Say show. Okay, where are the gaps? There may be gaps. So if that happens, you might need to simply. Oh, sorry, if I forgot to connect this, right? I forgot to connect this. So yeah, okay. Uh, cancel. So we continue. And say trim, so we cannot, okay. So we close that, I forgot about that. And maybe we're good, hopefully we're good. Click okay, and yeah, we're good. So let's look at it in a shaded view to see what we have done.
So those are the two separated from the surface. So that's what we have done. We have separated the two surfaces or one surface, we split it into two simply by picking the lines defined by our AutoCAD file. So we're going to split this surface now into two again. So we're going to use this line to split that. Okay, so again, we select and then select top of surface. Maybe it's easier if we say wireframe so we can see the line and say split surface. We're going to split this surface now and we're going to pick this line. Don't forget to click modify and now modify this line to extend beyond the top of surface. So let's do that, extend that beyond. Okay, and click OK. So what we have done is, let's go back to our shaded view, is to separate now this from the bottom part of the property. Now, this one here, we want to edit the surface and lower it by 150. See, we are actually editing just this surface. So the points that were defined or placed around the, the berm and elsewhere is not actually selected. So we're just going to be selecting all these points here and change the elevation to uh, 220 minus uh, 150, or we're going to lower, sorry, add, add 220 plus 150. So that will be 370. That, this will be minus 370. Okay. Enter. And now that we have done that, click OK. And likewise, we want to change the material. So you can see the material right here. Change that to asphalt. Simply type asphalt. Oops. Okay, so ash. Okay. So there's no material here. I think I maybe have misspelled as no H. So asphalt pavement. Now, we don't have it here in our project material list. It's in the library. So what we need to do is simply bring it up, add it to our library, and then we can use it to so select and click OK. There you go. Now, if we look at it in a 3D view, save the project when prompted. Okay, and go shaded. Now, you might not see the uh, elevation difference if you're zoomed out, so zoom in. So you see the difference of negative 150. So we lowered that by negative 150. If you go to the east elevation, yeah, you see, yeah, well, maybe it's difficult to see here. How about the south elevation? Can we view that? Likewise, it's difficult. Maybe, can I go shaded? Yeah, there it is, I think. Okay, somewhere there. I think this is the lowered one, right? So that's the 150 from this uh, 
that surface. Not too sure, but anyway, you can definitely view it in a 3D view. Okay, simply zoom in and you'll see the gap. So that's how you split the surface and change the materials and lower the surface.